There are several ways to use the table architecture during the class session to facilitate learning activities in small group discussions. Under the Tables tab, you can click the Seating Arrangement drop-down menu. The default seating arrangement is free seating, where learners are added to the first table and then the following tables as they become full. Choosing Random Table Arrangement provides you a pop-out window where you can choose the number of learners you'd like to randomly seat at each table. This can be used to do short introductions, build community, or run small group learning activities or group discussions without needing to create the arrangement ahead of time. Choosing split learners by poll results also provides you a pop-out window where you can choose the number of learners you'd like to seat at each table after you've run a single choice poll. If you choose common, it will seat individuals who answered the poll similarly at tables, and if you chose diverse, it will arrange learners who answered differently at tables. This allows you to have learners discuss poll answers, which has been shown to increase learning gains. Choosing Apply Preset provides a drop-down menu of preset seating arrangements created in the admin portal under Tables and Presets, and arranges learners as you determine prior to the class session. This allows you to pre-plan group activities or create ongoing small groups for projects and enable them in the class as needed. You can also create a preset during the live session by clicking Save Session Preset, name it, and then it will be present in the Apply Preset menu. Lock tables prevents learners from moving themselves from their current table. This can be used for private conversations at tables, debates, game-based learning, and any other learning activities where you'd like learners to remain at a specific table. To unlock, click the same seating arrangement menu and click Unlock Tables.